Neonatal breast enlargement is a benign condition of the proliferation of glandular tissue. This can be seen in the early weeks of life and is reported among 65 to 90 percent of infants in the neonatal period. Generally, a trimodal age distribution is observed. The first peak occurs in infancy or the neonatal period. The second peak occurs during puberty and has a prevalence of 4 to 69 percent. The final peak occurs in older males, particularly those aged 50 to 80, with a prevalence of 24 to 65 percent. Cause of neonatal breast enlargement The embryology of normal breast development undergoes two stages of growth. The first stage occurs as early as six weeks of intrauterine life with the formation of rudimentary breast tissue. The second occurs in adolescence and ends with a fully developed breast constitution. During pregnancy, the placenta converts DHEA, dehydroepiandrosterone, and DHEASO4 dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate, derived from both mother and fetus, to estrone, E1, and estradiol, E2, respectively. E1 and E2 then enter the fetal circulation and later stimulate breast glandular proliferation, which results in transient neonatal gynecomastia. Also, the crossing of estrogens across the placenta into the fetal circulation or a normal response to dropping estrogen levels in the maternal circulation toward the end of pregnancy, which may trigger the secretion of prolactin from the neonate's pituitary gland, is considered an etiological factor. Neonatal mastox Neonatal mastox, also known as congenital breast hypertrophy, is a rare condition characterized by excessive growth of the breast tissue in newborns. It can occur in both males and females and is usually benign. Mastox is a word which is a combination of two Greek words of mastos, which means breast and oxyan, which means an increase in size. It is used to describe uncomplicated physiological breast enlargement breast bud diameter less than or equal to 3 cm, of newborns under hormonal influence. Exaggerated breast enlargement, breast bud diameter greater than 3 cm, may be referred to as giant mastox. It's mostly reported in the first week of life, and it is transient with a spontaneous reduction and resolution within 6 months of age or more in some babies. Bilateral involvement is rare besides there is no side predilection, and it is independent of the sex of the baby. Neonatal mastox should be differentiated from mastitis or abscess that require antibiotic therapy or further approaches like needle aspiration. Ultrasonography plays an important role in differentiation. It has been reported that approximately one half of neonatal mastox progresses to mastitis, and one half of neonatal mastitis progresses to breast abscess. The most common isolated agent reported in breast abscesses is Staphylococcus aureus. Neonatal mastox requires simple observation and parental reassurance. The repeated expression of witch's milk by manual squeezing has been strongly discouraged as it is believed to prolong milk secretion and introduce infection. In conclusion, neonatal breast enlargement is a physiological and benign condition that resolves on its own without any surgical intervention in most cases. Follow-up observation, parental counseling, and reassurance are important factors to manage the condition. Also, it needs to be differentiated from mastitis or abscess through appropriate physical examination and investigations. Thanks for watching.